Chapter 7. Wireless LAN Architecture. In this chapter you will learn about the following. Wireless LAN Client Devices. It's a hat duplex radio transceiver which can exist in many hardware formats and chipsets. It requires drivers to communicate with operating system as well as software utility to interface with end user, allowing user to set wireless LAN, security and performance settings. Radio card formats. There are two types of radio card formats. External and internal. Example for external are PCM CIA, PC card, compact flash, CF. An example for internal are mini PCI and embedded 802.11 radio. Radio card chips is a group of integrated circuits working together to act as a transceiver from numerous manufacturers. Sold a radio card manufacturer. It may support 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Only or both. May support 802.11 and HT technology or only legacy transmission methods. Client Utilities allows configuration of wireless network interface cards such as SSID, transmit power, security settings, WMM quality of service capabilities and power management. And three types of client utilities are integrated operating system client utilities. Second, vendor specific client utilities and the last one is third party client utilities. Management, control and data planes. The logical planes of operation are management, control and data. MACD. Management plane is responsible for management, administration and monitoring. Control is the protocols that provide the intelligent interaction between network equipment. Data also known as the user plane, where traffic is actually forwarded. Plane may be divided between access points, wireless line controllers and wireless network management servers. Wireless LAN Architecture Main purpose is to provide a wireless portal into a typical 802.3 Ethernet infrastructure. Three primary wireless LAN architectures are First, Autonomous Wireless LAN Architecture Second, Centralized Wireless LAN Architecture and the last one is Distributed Wireless LAN Architecture. Autonomous wireless LAN architecture will use autonomous, FAT or standalone AP where the configuration is performed on each individual AP. WNMS may be used to centralize device management. WNMS stands for Wireless Network Management System. It provides central point of management for autonomous APs. Moves the management plane out of the autonomous AP, can be software or hardware appliance. Can be vendor specific or vendor neutral. Deployed at the core layer of the wired network. Most solutions use simple network management protocol, SNMP, to manage and monitor the wireless LAN. Next, is centralized wireless LAN architecture. It uses wireless LAN controller that resides in the core and utilizes controller-based APs, also known as liquid or thin APs. All three logical planes of operation have been moved out of the APs to the wireless LAN controller. Some tasks may still be handled by the AP under the direction of the controller. Based on the figure, you can see that for centralized wireless LAN architecture, wireless LAN controller controlled the thin APs. Distributed Wireless LAN Architecture Network nodes provide independent distributed intelligence. Multiple standalone APs are organized into groups. APs work together to provide control mechanism. Most of the intelligence and capabilities of the wireless LAN controller. Distributed Wireless LAN Architecture each AP is responsible for local forwarding of user traffic where data plane resides in the AP. Management is provided centrally utilizing a WNMS server.
Unified Wireless LAN Architecture Fairly new architecture design Integrates wireless LAN controller capabilities into wired network infrastructure devices It allows for the combined management of the wireless and wired network Access is no longer defined by the PHY, providing seamless integration Specialty Wireless LAN Infrastructure Typically operate outside of the defined 802.11 standards. I will briefly explain for each on next pages. Wireless Workgroup Bridge, WGB. Wireless connectivity for wired infrastructure devices. It connects to a BSS and acts as a client station. Wireless LAN bridges provides wireless connectivity between two or more wired networks. Two major configuration settings are root and non-root, also known as parent and child. The bridge can be point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint. Home Wi-Fi router provides shared wireless access to a Soho Internet connection. Provides a level of security. Provides features such as configurable 802.11 radio card, routing protocols such as RIP, network and port address translation, NAT and PAT, port forwarding, firewall, layer 2 security, WEP, WPA personal and or WPA2, personal, DHCP and multiport Ethernet switch ports. Wireless LAN mesh access points uses proprietary layer 2 routing protocols. Mesh APs typically support two radios, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios. 5 gigahertz radios usually used for mesh infrastructure and 2.4 gigahertz radios usually used to provide client access. Wireless LAN array. Multiple access points in a single hardware device. Directional antennas provide sector coverage for each radio, simply a self-contained indoor sector array. Embedded wireless LAN controller technology built in. Virtual AP system. Multiple APs share a single BSS ID. Utilizes proprietary methods. Clients believe they are connected to a single AP. Clients experience zero handoff time, where handoff is handled by a central wireless line controller. Use a single channel architecture, SCA. Real time location systems, RTLS. Real time tracking of 802.11 radio devices. Real time tracking of active Wi Fi, RFID tags. Use a signal strength and or time of arrival algorithms to determine location coordinates. Real-time location systems application can display a map with a device location, alerts, or asset information. Voice over Wi-Fi telephone. Support for wireless security. Use 2.4 or 5 gigahertz banks. Operates on typical wireless LAN infrastructure. Chapter 7 Summary. Wireless LAN Client Devices. Wireless LAN Architecture. Specialty Wireless LAN Infrastructure End of chapter Thank you for watching and listening